What you do is you collect your soil, one from the area you do a lot of tillage and the area you don't do a lot of tillage. This particular soil came from uh, Ray Steyer's farm and he has been doing no-till for 40 years. The only th piece of equipment he runs there is a sprayer or a no-till drill. This one it comes from uh, the neighbors, same soil type, by the way, and uh, he grows vegetables continuously, year after year after year. That's the major difference between the soils. As you, as you can notice, the color is quite different. This one's darker, this one's lighter. So the way this test works is what I'm going to do is I'm going to place both these aggregates inside the water. In each aggregate, there's billions and billions of pore spaces. As I place them in to the water, the water is going to rush in to fill those pore spaces. And we, what we want to see is, will this um, aggregate hold against those forces and not fall apart? Okay. The contrast here is, notice that the jar is clear here. This one is not clear. Notice how the aggregate completely fell apart. What this means is the soil pores are, no, are collapsed on, these, on this particular aggregate. This ones are still intact. What's so important about that is the more pore spaces you have in the soil system, the better the infiltration. The colors differentiation between the two glass cylinders. One is clear and one still clouded with sus suspended clay particles. This one is still clear, and notice the aggregate still intact for the most part. Some of it fell to the bottom, but still a majority of it's still intact. And the reason for that is that a lot of these biological cementing glues are hydrophobic. They can repel water, but yet they still hold the particles together. This one here had very, very little, no cementing agents, no biological glues holding it, so all of it fell apart and landed up in the bottom of the glass cylinder. I use this test, it's called the miniature rain simulator, to build upon the point of the slake test. The slake test and the rain simulator test are very related. When you have no pore space, you have no infiltration. So this whole demo is to show what happens when you have poor infiltration. So I collected the soil from a, a conventional till system, agro system, and a no-till agro system. The difference between these two systems, this one has not been tilled in 40 years. This one's continually, continuously tilled every, every year to grow vegetables. Same soil types, but what we want to do is we want to show which one infiltrates first, which one goes through that profile. Notice that the soils are, uh, the jars are plastic jars, yarn jars are filled up a quarter of the way up on both, on both jars. And what we're going to do is we're going to pour this colored water. One is blue and one is blue red. That's the only, it's just plain colored water. And the only reason I do that is to show the, the water column building up as we pour in. And what we have here is that we have two little plastic containers that is, we're going to simulate the rain. Notice in the no-till system how the water infiltrated through the whole profile. Notice on this side the water is still standing up in a column. This shows that in most of our watersheds we have an infiltration problem, not a runoff problem. And what I mean by that is if we focus on the infiltration problem, on soil health, soil function, then we will use, then we will focus on what we have to do to make that soil healthy. Notice on this one, the water will go through the soil, and from the soil it'll go right into the, into the lakes, into, into the rivers, into the lakes. This one here, the water will sh shut off the land, 
take all the fertilizer and all the pesticides with it. So this one, notice how it has not infiltrated through. Look at this one. And this, now what causes this? It's when you create, till, when you do tillage, the zygomycotis bacteria will start breaking down all the glues that hold the, the particles together, the soil structure together, and the pore spaces collapse. You remember on the slake test, how the soil fell apart? Well, there's no glues to hold the particles together. And this is exactly what happens. There's no pore space. This one has pore space, lots and lots of pore space. The soil is held intact by the glues created by all the organisms, soil organisms. This one does not. Uh, the water right here ran off into our rivers and into our lakes. This is to show us what happens when our soils do not function properly. Our soils have this incredible way of, of working. They not only infiltrate water, but they also capture water because of the organic matter. They, soils have this incredible ability to filtrate and to capture. Healthy soil systems not only capture and hold water better, but they also allow it to pass through. In unhealthy soil systems, that's not the case. Our, our soils are designed to filtrate and, and to clean our, clean our waters. So that's part of that whole process. The whole picture here really is the takeaway is that we want water in the soil system. And that's why when it rains one inch, we're going to get all that one inch. Mm -hmm. You're not losing anything. That's the beauty about this. It shows that you're capturing all the water so that when droughts do come, that you can capture every precious inch of water. That's the whole thing.